Okay, sorry for the wait there. We are back. We are in Shadowbringers. This is video number nine. Uh, we're doing the full story from start, a little bit of prequel to finish. Uh, you are getting, uh, you're getting a look at our introduction to Mesomatoya, also known as Yashtola, at the Greatwood. Uh, we just started to get into the culture uh, and the way they do things, worshiping the shadows or darkness, so to speak. But, uh, that's all we really have. Let's dive into this, see where it's going. Alright. I'm sitting here with my Dark Knight still, and my glowy weapon of evil. Because it is freaking amazing. And let's do our minion roulette of the day. We have a black chocobo chick in the middle of the forest. Kind of fitting. Hey, and these pe pe and these people worship the darkness. You know, it, I, I can't, I can't dictate how the fates think about this. Let's go in. That's kind of awesome. We were talking to this gentleman here. <clears throat> Sorry about that, I had a mute. Uh, we got uh, lawn care to take care of our... Uh, the lawn of the rented property here. Okay, back into this. So, we got Sin Eaters, and there's a big concern about this. I believe it said they're touched. Going back to mute after this, uh, let's see where it leads. We're probably, obviously, going to be doing the fighting. That's what I thought. So when they mean by the touch, they mean by they have the power to inflict the light into others. Um, as we saw with Alizé in that horrible, dreadful scene. I think the answer is obvious.
I get that. Okay, intermission. Dear Square X, you've spent this entire game getting us to know this new Minfilia, a heartfelt she is, very similar to the original, but also because of her age, her innocence, and we kind of absolutely adore her. So, consider this a warning. You kill her off. Knowing how you tell storylines, I'd be very pissed. Back to the game. I did do a little bit of questing in this area. Uh, it was very little to clear some stuff out. But we got a quest. This direction. In the area I cleared out. Even better. slow it is around here. I do love the music. I know I keep seeing it every video. The music to this game is fabulous. I am really looking forward to getting the soundtrack. Oh, one of these bastards. Two of them. Why? So concerned for her. I will say, out of most MMOs, these fights actually take quite a while in comparison to the other stuff fights. I'm not saying it's a bad thing.
But in a world of haste, where I'm trying to make sure Minfinley doesn't die, I fulfill the Square Enix prophecy. I'm calling it that now, the Square Enix prophecy. I want to make sure she's alright. Oh, it's dead! Yay? Okay, we're looking for a jade stone necklace in the middle of green clovers. Ugh. Yeah, these jerks. I do love music. I know it keeps... All right, look for a jade necklace. Like the glowy thing that I'm seeing over here? That's still within the red circle. So I did travel all the way around the outskirts, and I didn't see anything. Now, granted, I also didn't really look that hard in between some of the areas here. But something tells me it's going to be more toward the center. We checked those two out. Ah, the power leaves right behind the... The NPCs, that kind of threw me off. There we are. The amount of pressure she's put on herself just makes me cringe. It's the type of character that forces me to want to, like, literally be in the game to talk to her, like, hey, focus on what you can do now. Be better for what you can do later on. That again, that's the philosophical side of me, that, uh, I'm a gamer, there's not much else I can do other than play the character. <sighs> right. So we found the necklace, and I missed the entrance. Just by a little.
It looks like it was just the Hearthstone, which is the Jade Jewel. Which, I guess, should suffice for this. I'm intrigued. Why Jane? So I'm guessing we get to witness the ceremony. Faker is going to be a little pissed off over us going off of Minfilia. Here goes Faker. Oh. Maybe Yustola's lashing kind of got him to grow up a little bit. so intrigued by this culture. So let's go see what this service is they're talking about. Am I going the right direction? Oh, yeah. Good, good. Interesting. It seemed only right that we show our faces. May we join you? It's so good to see Yishtola. Let us begin. I thank you all for coming to pay respects to our fallen daughter of the night. In the light, she was known as Todia, but in the dark, we shall remember her always as Menin. Let us each take a moment to offer her our prayers.
We entrust her now to the night's sweet embrace. In darkness will she be free from pain and suffering, now and forevermore. May her soul find peace in the sunless sea of heaven, and in the love we bear for her in our hearts. That vessel represents the night sky, the sunless sea of heaven. Call upon you now, O bringer of shadow, to lead this gentle soul onto the sea. We call upon you, O warrior of darkness, to deliver her onto paradise everlasting. That is a tall candle to live up to. That's actually kind of beautiful. I am told you assisted in the preparations for the service. On behalf of the Blessed, you have my sincerest thanks. The enduring legend of the Warrior of Darkness owes much to the traditions of these people. And none were more ardent in their faith than Todia. She would have been greatly moved by your presence. It's probably the first time I didn't choose the top option. You might not deliver her to the heavens, but if you could deliver the night sky to her people, the real night sky, it would be the next best thing. And I agree with Minvilia. Their prayers would finally be answered. They could gaze up at the firmament and see their ancestors in every twinkle of the stars. We cannot allow their hopes and dreams to drown in the light. We have to bring back the dark. If we don't, who will? She's such a sweetheart. Forgive me, thinking of all those we have lost, I... No, it's all right. We will bring back the dark. Mayhaps sooner than later, in fact. Arionje and I have finished deciphering the tablet, and its contents were most illuminating. Let us reconvene in my chambers. We have much to discuss. Is Rian J? Oh, I love Rian J. It's pretty cool. No, as a Fancred finally warmed up to the new Minfilia. I hope he has.
Well, let's find out what this tablet said. Okay, this is kind of interesting. Oh, we still got a cra uh, crack thinkered shell here. Still treats her like a child. Although, keep the group small and makes sense, but the way he delivered that message. She generally looks concerned. see where we're going. That's probably part of the map I have not been to. So we get to do a little bit of exploring. Interesting. Ah, eh, these guys. Okay.
I thought this race was a little more... Um, I thought they would defend themselves a little bit better than that. They're breeding poisonous spiders. Ah, oh, this sounds like a Dungeons and Dragons DD. So the radical group that we're going to see is getting even more radical. And we're going to take some smoke bombs and just create utter chaos. This is definitely a chaotic approach. I'm okay with that. What am I doing with this? I mean, I've read the plan, but... Hmm... Putting an entire beehive in a sack doesn't, uh... It's actually kind of terrifying.
Okay, we get to put the second beehive in a burlap sack. What's going on? Multiple ways of doing this. Yeah, I don't know what to actually expect. I don't know what they're leading us into here. I mean, granted, we got a radical group. We're gonna unleash spiders and bees upon them and breed a tablet. I mean, that's all we know. We know nothing of them. Glad to know, across the universes, there's, only, there's one thing that remains the same. A might. And terrifying as ever. Oh, this got some little pincers on its head. Eh. Well, if I ever need some, uh... Might web, I know where to go. Why are they worried about their spiders from bees? <laughs> Bankrate, your new outfit's a little too shiny. Especially for someone who hides in the dark.
Did I pass the entryway, or is there this not an entrance? That must be an exit only. Alright, well, that's the thing. I'll have to take the North Passage. So, we threw a bunch of bees in this hole, spooked a bunch of spiders for a radical group that's breeding them. Again, I find this very weird. We haven't had any idea of what this radical group is, other than we need to read a tablet in their possession. Okay, this creature's creepy as hell. Yeah, that's a no. Oh, look. It's that radical group I was talking about. Let's see how many I can drag with me. I'm completely cheesing this, I know. Okay. See how many I shake off and how many I don't. Ta da! <laughs> oh! This is the reason why I'm not level 80 yet. Okay, I might actually have to pay slight more attention to where I'm going now and fighting whatever comes about. <laughs> I I'm not really stealthy. I'm more along the lines of uh, crashing the party. <laughs> Which is kind of what happened. Well, this place is kind of beautiful. And sure enough, there's that tablet. Yeah, I had a slight delay on getting on, but I got on roughly uh, 15 after. We're going to keep up with our time. I started about 46 minutes ago, so we're going to still have an hour and 14 minutes. Yeah. What is this? All right, creepy. So we get to look at the Cthulhu murals here. I logged in slightly late. Uh, things were a little busy.
These paintings, they seem familiar. Depictions of heroes throughout history. The Age of Gods, the Empire of Ronka, and this. It's about him and his party. There was a man, a researcher who poured over these pieces. He offered us work when we needed it. Slaying beasts, delivering provisions. A funny old bugger he was. But he had... He believed this first painting dated back to a time of myth and legends. A tribute to the heroes of a long forgotten era. Oh. Was the, these the original heroes of light for the calamity that split it? The story went that it was rediscovered by an explorer from Ronka, who was so struck by its majesty that a second painting was commissioned, commemorating the heroes of their day. One day you will all be here too, he said. Heroes immortalized forever. Maybe I'll paint you myself? I had a good laugh at that. We were only trying to make our way after all. Being heroes couldn't have been further from our minds. But it seems he actually went and did it. Before or after the flood, I wonder. Oh, rather faded, isn't it? Compared to the others. But did someone try to scrape it off the wall? Well, maybe the man himself once he came to his senses. Do you suppose your deeds will warrant an addition to this collection? Or some other kind of monument? Yeah. There you are. I have everything I need. Let us quit this place. Is something the matter? We should go. The others are waiting. Talk about a horrible afterlife. Oh, it teleports us out. That's kind of nice. Wanted proposal. Yeah, that quest doesn't bold well. <laughs> Incredibly lazy. They've been with her for a while to know that. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, it's clearly maybe 30 seconds ride on your motorcycle to the location. Nah, I'm gonna teleport. Okay, I'm gonna pick up this quest quick.
This is a very minimalist society. Strange. Yeah. When birds start running away from one area, that's typically a bad thing. The others on patrol should have returned by now. Our food will be overcooked if we wait any longer. We will just have to start without them. Would you call Master Matoya and the others? I tire of these games, Orianger. Why do you pretend you cannot see it? The blessing may spare her the fate of becoming a Light Warden. But you cannot be blind to the nascent corruption. She is not as she was in the Source. Though I have no proof, I fear that the light which poured forth from the Wardens was not negated at all. I fear it was absorbed, that she has been suffused with their light. Though I have given thought to this possibility, I dare not speak until more is known. <sighs> By the time you deign to enlighten us, it may be too late, if it is not already. Orianger, I know full well, after all these years, that you have only the best of intentions. But that does not make it any easier to put my faith in a man so infatuated with secrecy. I have had my suspicions ever since the Exarch bade you speak that day. But now I must ask. The Eighth Umbral Calamity and all that followed, Everything you claim to have seen. Did you? Help! Someone help! The Umorans are come for us! We're under attack! I'm not quite sure what I can say to this so far. Three. How good it is to see you. How long has it been? Not since your inauguration, unless I'm mistaken. Too long, at any rate. <laughs> May I say how humbled I am to be invited not only into your city, but your home. You are as generous as ever. God. Sarcasm to the last drop. I love it. And you as disingenuous. <laughs> Let us dispense with the pleasantries. This merry band of dissidents people are calling warriors of darkness, they have slain Sin Eaters, and by all accounts, the Crystarium is complicit in their villainy. And now I hear reports of your people obstructing my soldiers. So I must ask, what exactly do you think you are doing? I might ask you the same thing. It should be clear, even to you, that defeating the Light Wardens represents the world's only hope of survival. 
Even now, the people of Lakeland and Ilmeg rejoice in the return of night. For a hundred years, they yearned for a means to fight back against the Sin Eaters, and at last they have found one. Yet you choose to stand idly by and do nothing. Why? Why? Because this hope you cling to is nothing more than a fever dream, an exercise in futility. Even should you slay the Sin Eaters, the world as we know it is beyond salvation. With what little land and resources remain, the people would be free only to starve. Before long, they would turn to violence, then to war, and ultimately usher themselves unto oblivion. They require a firm hand to shepherd them from the edge. The hand of a king. Nay, a god. Ugh. I will see their dreams fulfilled, their wishes granted. I will give them peace, order, and they shall never want for bliss. Men are fickle creatures who entertain vague ideals without the faintest notion what they cost. But a little fear can go a long way towards helping them realize what it is they truly need. <clears throat> Sanctuary. And they shall find none in this world save that which I afford them. That is why the Sin Eaters exist. To unite the world under my dominion. A paradise fit to grace the eighth umbral era. Yeah, it is. What was that? A minor epiphany, nothing more. You have always held sway over those around you. Those who defy you must submit or die. What sits before me is the inevitable result of bloated privilege and unchecked power. But man is more resilient than you think. His achievements are not the product of violence and bloodshed, but compassion and understanding. This calamity is but another crisis to be overcome. And we will once we eliminate the Sin Eaters. You poor deluded fool. These people care not for the morrow. They care only for the now, and the contentment they lack. What good is a paradise to them if it is a thousand years in the making, or even a hundred? You underestimate them, Lord 4-3. They see further than you think. I have beheld it in the blood and sweat and tears of those who would sacrifice everything for a future they may never know, that their children may never know. I have beheld it in the hopes and dreams of those who came before, which we bequeath to those who come after, that they might in turn build upon the foundations laid by our forebears. These are the bonds which hold man and his world together not your gilded chains, and I will resist your every effort to shackle him. In summary, you will continue to support the villains hunting my Sin Eaters? Your Sin Eaters? You know, we lock those chambers, those Sin Eaters are gonna get hungry again. There's plenty right there. Ass. With tremendous enthusiasm, for I have faith in the future they would build. Oh, why do I even bother? Fools, a lot of you. So naive, so painfully predictable. Did you imagine I did not know your mind? That I would wait until after this meeting to dispatch my forces? Even as we speak, they march to the Sin Eaters' defense. 
Insurrection will not be tolerated. God, he's creepy. The people of this world are mine to rule, mine to command. And you are no exception. What? How did he? Insolent swine! I will not stand for this! Do you hear me? I don't know, something about that baby throwing a tantrum every single time makes me happy. No, I played this game. Sooner or later, I'm going to destroy you. you yeah, I... for the night's blessed. Yeah, I actually I noticed that. There was no tell of actually Ishtola being blind until now. Uh so uh, until that scene actually. Which kind of put a lot of questions into mind. I there's three, four different methods of where they can go with this. So I have no idea which path they're gonna take. I do. I presume that is your doing. If you'll come to Parley, I must insist that you first return him to us. You're in no position to make demands. You are talking to the raw lady. She is terrified. My Lord Vorthry's decree, Raktika now falls under the governance of Yulmore. You will henceforth answer to us. Is that so? And the children of the Everlasting Dark have acquiesced to this madness. We have reached an accord, yes. Too many times have the Knights Blessed shunned Yulmore's overtures of friendship. The risk that you harbor hostile intentions has grown too great to ignore. Therefore, his lordship has claimed dominion over this forest and bestowed executive authority upon the children of the Everlasting Dark. In his wisdom, Lord Vorthry has agreed to recognize ours as the only permissible expression of dark worship. It's one true faith. Uh, There's one thing that bothers me the most is religious zealots. <clears throat> All right. You and your false creed are a blight on these woods. A foul, unholy corruption that must be cleansed. Little wonder the warrior of darkness visits both Lakeland and Ilmeg, yet shuns Raktika. Your perverted teachings hold blessed shadow at bay. You have accepted the yoke of Yulmor to spite us, then. Fools. Darkness will never return to these skies while they hold sway. Those of you minded to obey his lordship are to make for woven oath with all haste. We will leave you, but you may have time to prepare. Hmm. Woven oath? Are you suggesting we abandon our fate to join those salads? What has your faith afforded you thus far? He said it. Nothing! We will guide you along the righteous path. And should we refuse? Anyone found here upon our return will be considered a traitor to you more and dealt with as such.
We will discuss these developments after I have tended to our casualty. I got nothing. I really don't know where we're gonna go with, they're gonna go with this. I was waiting for that those words. That's from the opening. I'm a little excited. I want to see her in action. This sounds like a dungeon. This sounds desperately like a dungeon. I guess we're about to find out, aren't we? Maybe we'll get a little review after this, because there's a lot of story bombs they threw onto us that got me questioning what's going to happen next.
snake. The Oppo, which is the monkey. Snake monkey. Wolf. So, snake monkey and wolf. Uh, this has some Assassin's Creed vibes. a tree that literally wrapped around an aetherite. That's actually kind of cool. Alright, going down. deeper. There we go. Snake, Bunky, Wolf. Snake. a coral. It's an opo, which is a monkey. Opo statue. Okay. Then last but not least will be wolf. Once we hit the two hour mark, I'm gonna do a quick intermission and discuss my thoughts on what's going on with the story so far. Well, that's really out there. Yeah. Wait. I can use a mount underwater! Oh, I forgot about that. I've been doing things the hard way this entire time. So much for my claim of being lazy. There it is, the wolf statue. <laughs> I'm glad I don't keep track of the list. I don't want to see the list. <laughs> Unless I'm getting royalties from the book from it being published, I don't want to see it.
Right. I don't want to see it. <laughs> Unless it gain royalties when you publish it. It's kind of interesting. The way they gave the descriptor of this medallion where to fetch it, and that's an ancient temple. I thought we would be doing a dungeon. But the way things are going... Mm, I smell a dungeon coming up. We're about due. If not that, then a primal. Into the wood. All right. Off screen after today, I'll take the time to find all the aether currents in this area. So by the time we get back, I should have a majority, if not all of them. Forest Echo. Okay, that's kind of cool. Well, looks like we're gonna have to fight it. I'm really curious to see what happens next. I actually have no clue. Um, there's quite a few things that are going on in my head as to where they're going with this story, what aspects of Final Fantasy tropes do they usually put in. And I really don't know what direction they're going to go quite yet. I have a general idea, but don't know.
would seem we have found them. You trespass upon sacred ground. Be gone! Ah, Final Fantasy twelve. Got it. We mean you no harm. I am so entertained. <laughs> Is that? We are allies of the Empire of Ronka. As is customary, we come bearing the seal of the Emperor. Hmm. <laughs> <gasps> it appears to be genuine. Right. <laughs> then perhaps there is yet hope. Perhaps. We acknowledge your seal, but we must be certain of its authenticity. Follow the Azure Flowers to our village. There we will judge if you are friend or foe. That's fair. Try not to stray from the path. All right? Follow the flowers. Would it kill them to escort us? But if it affords us an opportunity to investigate Ixmaya, fine. <laughs> huh. Those three seem like they could be terrifying. Glad I didn't make an enemy of them. Seems like that's the one good thing I am good at in this game, making an enemy of people. Alright, let's just go the other way. You know, nah, not gonna say it. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, this place is kind of neat. Yeah, I'm confused too.
I am really confused. They've been waiting for us? What? Did Yashola not tell us something about that translation? Or is there some prophecy we don't know about? I never looked I never looked in depth into this race. Do they live a long time? And before we do anything, I see an aperite. Right. Nice. Uh, I, I like it how that everyone who talks to Urian, Urian J is like, oh yeah, I completely understand what he's saying. Meanwhile, I have to sit there and spend a good 10 minutes trying to decipher what I just read. The man talks in riddles. No wonder why the Fae liked him. I mean, I don't think it's bad. I actually enjoy it myself, but still. It's true. It is completely true. <laughs> it was probably the most accurate criticism Alize has ever given. <laughs>
That's one way to dodge a question. Okay, I'm definitely intrigued. This is actually kind of fun. Well, I'm not here for lookouts right now. We're here to do story. Jeez, the symbol's hiding right behind the post. Okay. Wow, I was looking right at it. Okay. Are these Beast Tribe? Oh, I think I found one of the Beast Tribes. That means... Oh, God. Oh, I'm gonna be so busy. Right down there. That's why I use a shortcut. Jerks. If I want to fall to my doom, let me fall to my doom. Okay. Now that we have a general idea where the light warden is, maybe we're gonna either have a we're either gonna have a primal fight up coming or a uh, dungeon. Hopefully, we get to it before today's end.
Yeah, did you have to ask? Let's do this. If we get to the dungeon in time, we might actually be able to do the dungeon today and end the stream there. I already... I'll have to pick this one up later. I don't want to waste more time. I'll pick this up while I'm at it.
Fuck, I had myself muted that entire time. We had the lawnmower going out here, so I muted myself. Sorry about that. Okay. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. Either way. Uh, well, there's a dungeon coming up. Guaranteed. Uh, I, I need to go over a couple of things here. Uh, things that are muddling in my mind. Uh, the Square Enix trope is they give you a character, they get you to like them, and then all of a sudden they kill them. That might be the new, uh, the new, uh, Minfilia. I see it going down that path. Even though I can still see it, I'm a little pissed. Uh, if it happens, I'm gonna be livid, I'm gonna have to take a moment to recuperate. Two. We're absorbing these Light Wardens. Now, if I have the Aether of the Light Wardens, at some point in time, maybe I'm able to control them? Uh, if I absorb too many of them, do I become the ultimate Light Warden and bring on a Calamity? Do they do the Legend of Zelda thing where it's a shadow version of me and I have to fight myself? Uh, who knows? They also, the, and the Anarch of Crystalium um, is intriguing. Uh, he's been around for a very long time. That Asian jerk that seems to want to help me seems very intrigued by the thought of knowing how he called me. More importantly, he might be an Asian himself. I, I, it might be. There is multiple directions that this could go. And I don't know where yet. So, that being said, I'm going to continue to play this. Uh, start. I'll start up again tomorrow. i uh, play for another two hours. I have a gut feeling we got a dungeon or a primal fight coming pretty damn soon. I have not looked online. I'm trying to keep all of this a surprise as things come to be. Uh... I'm just letting things play out, giving you my reaction as I see them. These are the thoughts I've had so far. Now, on a side conversation, uh, if you're a Final Fantasy fan, we got Final Fantasy 16 has dropped their website finally. And the world text is pretty damn cool. Uh, I'm a little intrigued to see where they go. It's definitely much more medieval. Same, uh, same maker of Final Fantasy 14, Yoshi made Final Fantasy 16 that's going to be coming out here in the next couple of years. It's sooner than I thought, but we'll find out more, you know. Either way, uh, thank you for watching. We will be back again here pretty soon. We're going to see where this leads and see if I end up being the one to kill someone that I don't want to because of the corruption of the light. Because as uh, Master Mentoya said, uh, it's taken its hold on. And that's... Hmm. Kind of creepy. We'll find out more. Alright. Stay cool. Keep playing. Have fun. Catch you guys tomorrow night.